Hey, my name is Jay and welcome back to Plasma Channel. Now for years you guys have been requesting that I build a Slayer Exciter coil and for the longest time I really didn't have the desire to do so because I didn't really think they were very powerful and I didn't really consider them to be real Tesla coils. Well, I caved in and I built one and it is so much cooler than I thought it would be. But what I whipped up isn't your typical Slayer Exciter build. In fact, it might be the first of its kind. It's fully self-contained and it's rechargeable. Like any Slayer Exciter, it transmits energy wirelessly and creates thousands of volts, with one major difference. It's built with a pancake secondary. And I'm telling you, this baby's hot. Now before I show you a bunch of really cool b-roll footage of this sucker in action, I want to mention that this video is made possible by the support of my Patreons and by the really kind folks at NordVPN. For starters, when it's turned on, a blue LED indicates the power's flowing. And I tried my best to make this design user-friendly, and I mean, I'm thrilled with the results. Four, maybe 5,000 volts pumped through hot arcs that are completely silent. And these arcs can be drawn out to over an inch, it's crazy. And the entire thing's held together with nuts, bolts, and acrylic discs. So what's a Slayer Exciter? Well, it's a super basic circuit composed of five main things. They use a transistor to switch on and off the voltage, a diode or an LED, a resistor, and two coils of wire. That's it. This design uses two transistors wired in parallel though, just to improve longevity and increase performance. Now, if you're familiar with these circuits, they're usually built with the vertical style Tesla coil secondary, just like these Tesla coils here. But the disadvantage of this is that they're more prone to damage from falling over and they take up way more space. So I figured if pancake coils work for Tesla coil secondaries, they should work for Slayer Exciters too. And since I like small, compact builds, it was a no-brainer for me to give it a try. And wrapped around the circumference of this pancake secondary is four turns of the primary coil. As for what provides the juice, it uses three rechargeable 9-volt lithium batteries. These things are super powerful, and they sit on the base and face outward for easy removal. And I'm really surprised how much power this little circuit can handle and the results it achieves, considering, you know, like I said, it's only built with five main components. So give me 20 seconds of your time and I'm gonna give you a crash course on how this little circuit works. For starters, the transistor acts as a digital on-off switch. The LED only allows current to flow in one direction and the resistor reduces power flow. Here's the power source, the primary coil, and the secondary coil. When it turns on, the primary coil makes an electric field. This induces an opposing voltage in the secondary, which sends feedback to the transistor to turn off. Now that the transistor's off, the cycle repeats and repeats hundreds of thousands of times a second. Since the secondary has over 200 times as many turns, it develops a really high voltage. Now, not only is the electrical frequency really high, but the break rate or the spark rate is through the roof. It's above 20 kilohertz, which is why the arc on my design is completely silent. You can't hear it. Since it's silent, here's four awesome indoor experiments you can do using a Slayer Exciter. Kind of crazy what you can do with a couple of components and a Slayer Exciter circuit. But two quick things, do not operate this near sensitive equipment and also it's all fun and games until you touch this with your bare hands. While it doesn't deliver a lethal amount of current, the arcs are hot enough to melt copper. That's 2000 degrees. So imagine what it does to your skin. Instantly vaporizes it. Not even a blister, just vaporized. So if you happen to build this, be safe and keep your sensitive equipment away. And it just so happens that this video's sponsor, NordVPN, also specializes in keeping you safe as well. Personally, I like knowing that I'm safe online and that my physical address, my private information, and my search history are not public. NordVPN is a super easy virtual private network which accomplishes these things and honestly makes it kind of fun doing so. Here's how it works. First off, a VPN allows you to mask your computer location. 
So once you've downloaded NordVPN and opened it up, you're greeted with a really cool map showing VPN locations around the world and your current protection status up top. All you have to do is click any spot around the world you'd like your computer to be at, so to speak, and the world now thinks you're surfing the internet from that location. There also is a quick connect option where you push one single button and the system chooses a location for you. Done. So go to nordvpn.com slash plasma channel and use the code plasma channel for 70% off of a three year subscription plus the first month free. So I don't know about you guys, but with all the identity theft going on in the world lately, I'm going to start protecting myself today. Let this project serve as an example for how sometimes the simplest of things are capable of the most magical of outcomes. And perhaps magic is just science we don't quite understand yet. I appreciate you watching today and I would love to know your thoughts on this project in the comments down below. And don't forget in the description there's a link to this NordVPN deal. It's nordvpn.com slash plasma channel and use the code plasma channel. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to share, like and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.